Hi, I'm Tyler Kilfoyle with Mex Practical Farm Research here with Travis Burnett, our PFR agronomist. We want to thank you for tuning in for another PFR report. Today we're going to be talking about our row width and population study within our double crop soybeans. So we have two different spacings out here. We have a drilled 7.5 inch spacing and we have a 15 inch row spacing. And we're trying to compare the two and see what the optimum population is within those two. So I'm going to turn it over to Travis. He's going to give us some, uh, some data and some research that we've seen in years past and see what we can uh, can look forward to and expect here. Yeah, so as Tyler said, you know, we're looking at the economic optimum seeding rate for soybeans in a double crop situation. Uh, in the last three years, we uh, have been doing uh, some research on 15 inch rows. And uh, you know, our multi-location data suggests that uh, we want to get as many plants out there as possible. In fact, our economic optimum seeding rate, in a, again, a 15 inch row spacing double crop scenario is 260,000 plants per acre, or seeding rate uh, per acre. Basically the kind of the agronomic piece behind that is you think of the shortened growing season with uh, the double crop soybeans and really we're just trying to get as quick of canopy closure as possible to take advantage of that, that sunlight and that, that natural energy. Um, so the higher the population we found, the higher the population that we can run, the, the more competition there is in row, therefore the beans grow taller, faster, because they're competing with each other we can capture more of that sunlight. So uh, like I said, 260,000 uh, planted population has been, been kind of our sweet spot uh, with 15 inch rows. So not only are we testing the 15 inch rows, but we've, we've kind of thrown a curveball at it here and testing the drilled as well, which is, you know, we didn't do it last year, we did it in 2015, but we're bringing it back and trying again. So, you know, we, we see the value and see the differences in 15 inch rows and, you know, regular planted 15 inch rows in, in a regular season first crop, you know, we've seen as we can go down as low as 100,000, right? But that's not the case here in double crop. Right. It's kind of the opposite, really. Kind, kind of the opposite. So, got to got to switch gears a little bit. You know, I'm I'm a drilled fan. I like pulling out the drill. I like messing with it, getting it set. That's that's a passion of mine. So, well, the more we narrow up those rows in a drilled situation, so seven and a half inch rows with this drill, uh, in theory, we should build a canopy quicker. The the, the challenge with a drill is uh, we lose that precision that we would have with a 15 inch planter. So. Some years, I think, you know, my, my, my theory is some years we'll see the seven and a half inch rows do better. Some years the 15 inch rows will do better, but um, my guess would be the 15 inch rows over a long period will do better because of the consistency you get with the, not only seed placement, but the, the depth and getting that, that uh, soybean into adequate soil moisture. That's the challenge typically this time of year. So. Well, I'm excited to see what the results, you know, we had really, really optimum planning uh, conditions here in Indiana when we planted this double crop study. Uh, you know, it's kind of opposite of the year, the way the year's been going. We've been challenging, uh, been challenged with a, a lot of moisture, a lot of rainfall, and uh, we had a, a really good window to get this double crop in and get our wheat off, and we're really excited to see what the results have in store for us. So thank you for tuning in for another PFR report. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, and keep on PFRing. Thank you. Keep on PFR. I like it. <laughs>